Hey everyone, it's Lincoln. Yep, I'm on my own again. And you know what? I was kind of nervous about running this whole thing myself, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. You know, it just goes to show, when you learn to trust yourself... Stop whatever is going on. I don't trust you. Oh boy, you're back. What the hell ambience is this? Hint of Jersey Shore? Oh, right. I was gonna fix that. So, um, where were you? I was at your anti-coast. Uh, left, co- uh, west coast. Pulling some strings to keep that green wizard busy. Why does everyone need a podcast? Wasn't LeVar Burton enough? Well, what drudgery have I missed? Ah, here's some sponsor copy I have no choice but to try and salvage. Makers of universally recognized fine cinema Marvel has released a new podcast about the Fantastic Four called Marvels, based on the graphic novel by Kurt Busiek and Alex Ross. The show show is set in New York City, heard of it, after a battle between Galactus and the Fantastic Four. If you want to give Marvels a shot, go to StitcherPremium.com and sign up with the code MAGIC. That will get you a free month trial of Stitcher Premium. That's StitcherPremium.com with the promo code MAGIC. And while you're there, check out all the Magic Tavern bonus content, including but not limited to I Am Spintax. I'll even play a clip of the latest I Am Spintax episode after the show, so you can decide if this This much adjacent content is commensurate with the goodwill we've earned up till now. In the meantime, let's find out what the regular guy, the one who's really into it, and the one who slows things down are up to this week, shall we? from the professor's wardrobe a weekly podcast from jizzle knob preparatory school for young wizards i'm your host professor knee camp if you've never listened nice. to the podcast thank you i know right you owned it if you've never listened to the podcast before this is everything you need to know some time ago i fell through a dimensional portal behind a burger king in chicago into the magical land of foon luckily i'm still getting a wi-fi signal from the burger king which i use to upload a podcast every week chronicling our quest to defeat the Dark Lord, and, and you know, currently sort of chronicling our time, uh, molding the future magic users of Foon at Jizzle Knob Academy uh, as we teach here at the... I'm losing it, John. As we this. teach... Say Professor Kneecamp again. Uh, teach Professor Kneecamp yeah. how to... Say, say it like you mean it. Uh, Professor Kneecamp. Yeah. You can no, do it. Don't say it like you're in trouble. Oh, that sounded okay. like you were being stern with yourself. Oh, okay. Professor Kneecamp. No, that sounds desperate. Say, say it like Professor you're, Kneecamp. Should like I you're... stand up? I'm going to stand up on the table. No, Professor no, Kneecamp. Spin the chair around. Spin Professor the chair around. Professor Kneecamp. Say it like you're greeting We believe an old in friend. you, even though that one kid, what's that? Greet an old friend. Professor Kneecamp. <laughs> Professor Kneecamp. I didn't know you had a life outside of the class. <laughs> Oh no! What is that? No, good. You nailed it. It's like I. Ugh. It's like they saw me at the mm-hmm. mall or something. What's the mall? Uh well, on Earth there are like big stores, like a bunch of stores all together in. Oh, one we have place. those. We call them big stores. Oh, big, big stores. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, then what do you? What is? What are malls here? Uh, I don't know if we have mall. I mean, uh, if if someone were to go to the mall, they would get torn up, like they would oh, get scratched and like. Yeah. Torn apart a little bit. Yeah, sounds bad. But probably you're still nostalgic about it in a weird way. Yeah, I mean, there are shopping malls where you pay to be mauled so that, you know, you can get out of uh, Holiday or seeing family. Black Friday. Mm Mm-hmm. Sure. Well, anyway, uh, my uh, co-professor, my peer here Mm -hmm. at Jizzle Knob is uh, Chunt the Talking Badger. Oh, Affirmative, baby. Oh. <laughs> I'm really is... taken to being prefer- yeah, professorial. Yeah, you know what? Also, I think listeners should know, you know, sometimes we're just in a tavern, we're like throwing back ales, but we're classing it up with a little bit of wine. Mm-hmm. We're Absolutely. trying to be a little more adult. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, speaking of the most adult among us, uh, my also one of my other peers here at Jizzle Knob, uh, Professor Usador. I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light Usador, and shadow, Usador, Usador, manipulator Usador. of magical up, lights, class it up, class it up, devourer of chaos, Ooh, yes. champion of the great halls of Ooh, Champion. champion. Yeah. I was thinking, I was going to say champion. Let's let you know me as champion. 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 I am champion. known in the northeast as Gasmanius Maystar. And there may be other secret names. Names that if uttered aloud Class would most assuredly yeah. 
make you appear in your finest formal wear. Ooh. Oh. Uh, and Usador, have you tried the wine? Did it again. Yes, the wine is uh, wonderful. It's really delicious. Did you smell the notes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Just wine talking. Oh, I see. Uh, tannins. Ooh, uh, decanter. Oh, black tapes. Mm, Oaky. Dokey. All right, so... Artichoke. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, I'm so, so sorry. Yes. We're crushing Art- wine. Yes, Artichoke. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I'm very excited. I know I, last week we talked about how I'm not being social enough here at the school, so I invited some of the other teachers to the professor's wardrobe, and we're going to have a dinner and just, like, oh, that's chat about teaching that's here at the great. school. Speaking of uh, chatting about teaching, um, I don't know if I've ever told you guys what Defense Against Art History is. No, yeah. Did I tell you what it is? No, we've talked so much and you have not talked about what you're actually teaching. Mm -hmm. So what it is, is if anyone ever approaches you in life and wants to talk about culture or art, um, it's just a way to get out of that. Mm -hmm. Right? So so try and talk to me about art history. Oh, you know, I've heard that Van Gogh... uh, Sorry, my wife's over there. Oh. See? Oh. So I'm defending against people talking to me about art history. Oh. Yeah, you sir, you try and talk to me about art history. I believe that this sculpture makes me think of the way that water flows. Oh, my wife's over there. Uh, oh, okay. Wow. See? It, it works See how that every works? time. Mm-hmm. Every time. Yeah. What if you're not married? Uh, talk to me again about, I'll show you. I'll show you what to do. Oh, I think the strong angles on oh, this sculpture. I'm, I'm sorry. Me- oh, I'm sorry. I, I died 10 years ago. Oh. oh, ghosts can't talk about art. It's well known. <laughs> is that why there's the ghost that's apparently slashing the paintings in the school? Ooh, maybe. Very the possibly. The kids keep talking about it, especially the kids from Dingle Dong House. Yeah, they say it's a lurking phantom. Yeah, the lurking phantom. Yes. The lurking phantom. He's yes, like, we must defeat the lurking phantom, but we must not forget why we've come here to Jizzlenob. We were looking for a spy, potentially. Oh, yeah. Someone who may have had one of the pages from the Book of Sight. An agent of the Dark Lord. And now here we have been so enamored with the the school here that uh, we have lost sight of what we originally did come for. So I show to you this. (gasps) Now you can talk. Remember? Anytime someone shows the silent eye coin... They put it up through their eye, and you must share five seconds of silence while making direct eye contact with them. Like this, and Arnie. Oh, uh, here, wait, no, I, coin, I have mine two, somewhere. No, no, three, no, no, I can find mine. Uh, if you don't have yours, then you have to compliment the other person. Oh, Usador, Come on. you're you can so do it. loud. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, see, like we said last week, he just thinks everything is validation. Hmm. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Look, just because I can't find my coin doesn't mean that I don't love them. And I'm excited that apparently you can get them on Earth now. Really? Yeah. The silent eye coins you can buy on Earth. Mm-hmm. Our secret society coins uh, are available for this, purchase as I not, merchandise? Was that... I, when we said secret... Uh, Arnie, I what thought, did you do? I thought... Well, where can they buy them? <laughs> Well, you know, I think if you just go to hellofromthemagictavern.com, which you should go to like every day, just mm-hmm. looking for updates, uh, there'll be a link to get a Silent Eye coin and other merch you would have to imagine. <laughs> Do we have any other secrets I should put on our website? Nope. Use it or you got to have a secret. Mm, let me see. About 150 years ago, I spent two years transformed into a skunk. Oh, Okay. I gotta think of a merch opportunity around that. Well, you just said secret. Yeah. I was embarrassed. I didn't mean we to be a skunk. We gotta monetize it was an these accident. secrets. Well, now two of the three of us have been skunks. That's fun. Oh. That's fun, right? Wow. I've been drunk as a skunk. Oh, there we go, three I out of three. But not yeah. tonight. I'm just appreciating this wine. We can't get too drunk tonight because all of the professors are coming here into the professor's wardrobe and there's going to be a professor's appreciation dinner. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, we said we were going to invite all of the professors and I know that was my job to invite them. But as I said before, I get nervous talking to people when it's not on the podcast. So I only invited three of the 40 professors here so uh i could have told you before you set up all the chairs i'm oh. sorry about that that's all right because it was so easy scala off the talk whoa the chairs are marching off on their own huh they're picking up buckets of water 
It doesn't seem like he has complete control over this. Some of the chairs are being chopping up others. They're multiplying. Oh. All right, wait. I got it. I have to take care of this. I'll be right back. Oh, great. Uh, John, now, uh, if I could ask a little bit of your help. Hold on, I got it. I personally invited three of the professors. Oh, sorry, my wife's over there. Oh, God damn it. I'm kidding. What Wait do you a need, second. buddy. What do you, you need? You don't have a wife. You did have a husband. Oh, well. we don't need Ernie? To that right. What that's the fuck? That's not dinner talk. That's probably no, not that's dinner not. conversation. Don't talk about my own husband. <laughs> well, that's a better way uh, yeah, to phrase yeah. that. I mean, that could be a pretty good... No, no, no. What were you going to say? I was just going to say, I invited three of the professors personally, mm-hmm. but you know me. I can't remember names ever, so sure. can you introduce yourself? Like, yeah, I'll make that. I, I don't want to be yeah. like, I don't want to be like, oh, and yeah. this is. Here's what you do: just when you <laughs> introduce them to me and say, "This is my friend Chunt," and then act like you've got a, uh, you know, some a message or something, or look down at your potatoes, okay. and then I'll say, "What's your name?" Okay. Yeah. Matt. Okay. Or act yeah. like you, you uh, dropped something on the potatoes. I was thinking you would just proactively step in. No, and it's got to be a whole thing. I want to make it a whole them. thing. So, okay. So you're kind of helping me, but in you helping me, there has to be a moment of me clearly failing. I need you to like humble yourself. Like, okay. to, yeah. All right. To either humiliate yourself or make it known that there's something wrong. Okay. Ooh, I think right. I have that under control now. Uh, Ooh, you, I love that new hat. Oh, thank you. Mm. Thank you. Uh, Usador. Um, I'm sorry. I have a message in my potatoes. God damn. Oh, wait. Oh, looks like our first guest is here. Hey, thanks for coming. Arnie, introduce me. Mm-hmm. What's this? Introduce me to the teacher. Uh, I'm not really a teacher. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it was Chunt so doesn't know. This is Chunt. Hello, yeah. Chunt. And, and Arnie, who is this? This is uh, I, not I, a teacher. I'm not a teacher. Oh, I, you're I, a professor. I, I'm, no, I'm not a professor. This is an imposter. No, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a lowly library assistant, but Arnie was so kind to invite me oh, this evening. Yeah. My name is Winifred Weatherware. Ooh. Oh. Winifred Weatherware. Weatherware. Oh, it's... You can call me Winnie. My friends do. I have few of them, but... Oh. Ooh, okay, brag. <laughs> Hello, Winnie. It's nice to see you again. Uh, excuse me for a moment. I'm still looking at this message in my potatoes. So, Winnie, you said you're a, um, did you say lonely or lowly? Lowly. Lowly. As in short. Oh, okay. And are you lonely? Yes. Hmm. Oh, two for two. (laughs) Goes well together, I'm sure. Uh, And I I sort of speak lowly as well, so I suppose it fits me quite well. (laughs) Yeah, you wear meek well. (laughs) Yeah, oh, (laughs) that's so kind. And and you're a librarian? Ah, actually, I'm the library assistant. Oh. Yes, which is, I would venture to say, a harder job than the actual yeah. librarian. So when the librarian puts a book back, you, like, give him a thumbs up? Oh, shh. The librarian does not put books back. Oh. Ah, I do all of that. Oh. The librarian is, let us call them a figurehead. Oh. Only, only a figurehead. Mm-hmm. I catalog, put away know by heart all the books in the library, and it's quite extensive. Have you ever been? Oh, I don't a, think I've been yet. Oh, it's a beautiful library uh, with many wonderful tomes and grimoires. And you've committed all of this to memory. How wonderful. I have a lot of time on my hands. Yes, and of course the head librarian is just a figurehead. Oh, I know, the pomp a, and circumstance without any real power. It's just a wooden statue of a librarian. It, I mean, it doesn't... Do anything. I mean, maybe someday if it goes life and it like wills itself to life, but I know it's sort of a strange setup. But I actually can speak to that figurehead, oh. and oh. it tells me exactly what to do. That's the figurehead that told me to memorize oh. all the books. Okay, it's very difficult for a wooden figure to put away books, so oh, I use sure. my corporeal form to do so. Oh. Winifred, can I, can I ask? Yes. Um, I hope this isn't too personal a no. question. Is this wooden statue the only inanimate object that tells you to do things, or? No. Great oh, question. Of course not. Do you not have inanimate objects tell you to do things? Of course I do. I thought that was quite typical. I don't think inanimate objects tell me to do things. That's why you don't do that much. Yeah, I mean, this table's been telling you to shut the fuck up for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's true. Oh, Yes. Oh, you hear it too. I I did. Now that you pointed it out, it's quite loud. I was literally just getting a message from my potatoes. (laughs) See? Oh, oh, it looks like uh, our second guest is here. Oh, hey. Uh, I thought this was the party. Uh, Is this the party? This This is is a party. It's a dinner party. Mm -hmm. Right? 
right? This is not the first time I have been invited to a soiree, and there are only one, two, what, five participants? No, you should teach math. <laughs> well, no, I don't teach that. No, I, I... I teach math. Oh, you teach... You're the math teacher. I'm the new math teacher. I'm mm-hmm. assuming everyone's talking about it. Everyone in a good way. is. Yes, indeed. Oh. I heard your lecture about a duck was a raving success. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. Yes. Well, he fell into a, a world of math magic. It's really like the best thing about it is really right there in the title. Yes. It's not typical well, for me to interrupt, but I must say that I do hear students complimenting your teaching skills. Really? Yes. yes. People do. Really? Winnie, yes. what a nice lie. Oh, no, it's quite true. Oh. Mm. Like, wh- which ones? Have any other? Oh, um, I would say let's do a numerical quantification of sorts. Uh, okay. I would say I don't know what of, that means. of each... <laughs> Oh, hmm, interesting. Uh, of each ten students that enter the library, at least six have offhandedly complimented your teaching skills. Wow. Hmm. Yes. I mean, the only thing I've heard is that new math teacher's causing division. <laughs> I don't know what Good that jokes. means. Good jokes. <laughs> uh, now, I'm so excited. Uh, this is my friend Elroy. I oh, didn't know yeah. Elroy was invited. I know I need no introduction, as I am Elroy Topplestar. Oh, yes. Elroy was here. Yes, indeed. Elroy, I, I was you... there. I've, I, I've been everywhere. Elroy, are you Jet's son? Yes. Oh, okay. You know Jet? Your father's Jet? My father, Jet Topplestar. Yeah, Jet Topplestar. And then he was his... an astrophysicist? Well, yes, but he had a boss who was quite domineering who would just yell, Jet! <laughs> oh, dear. And then when I went there, I, I would be yelled at, Jet, son! <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. Yes, I am Jet's son. But uh, that's not the reason I'm famous. You know? Oh, you're so, famous. Oh, yes, I am mm. most famous. You don't, you don't know who I am? Uh, uh, you're Jet's you're, son? You're Jet's son? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> I mean, are you famous if you have to tell us who you are? I know who he is. Thank you. Uh, Elroy, At least who are you? one cultured person here knows. Oh. Well, so let me tell you. I wrote the book... Thinking happy thoughts to slay the demons that surround your mind. Uh, that's the whole title? Yes, that's the whole Give title. Give it to me again. Thinking happy thoughts, thoughts to slay the demons, the demons that surround, surround your mind. mind. Huh. Yes. And it's a comedy or? It's a self-help book. Mm. Mm-hmm. I have been reading this book all yes. week. Yes. And I, I am learning so much about conquering the demons. Not the literal demons like I usually do. But the demons around my mind. Mind demons. Of mind. which there are many. And Winnie, I see that you have a shelf help book. Oh, yes. Let me open this up. It just says, make sure it's fastened to the wall. Yes. Tighten the screws. Yes. Oh, so help with shelving? Yes. Nice. You're quite a good reader. Your comprehension is above average. Well, that's talking down to me. Just because I'm a badger doesn't mean I don't know how to read. I'm a oh, shapeshifter, actually. No, I... Oh, mm-hmm. I am a skin shifter. Oh, what, what does that mean? Well, being that you're a badger, you a shift your shape. shape. Mm-hmm. I am a person with skin, and mine shifts. Okay, everything checks out so far. Can but you... Does everything on the inside stay where it is? I hope so. Yeah. So, like, your skin will give a ripple, or what's going on here? Well, at certain times, when the things are ripe... I hmm. change. Right. <laughs> and it's quite terrifying. Okay. I've had to navigate it myself. And I, I, I tutor students who have skin shifting mm. abilities and uh-huh. are frightened of them after school. Arnie, and can you pass that fruit salad? Sure. Okay, <coughs> there's a fruit salad. And as you can tell, the fruit is ripe. Mm. Anything? Nothing, nothing yet. Okay. I don't shift other skin. I shift my own. Oh, okay. I see. No, I figured that. Yes. What? Okay. What? You said when things are ripe. Oh, when the time is ripe. Like when the, the moon and the stars oh, wow. and the sky and the wind. Shut up, fruit. I'll get to it when I want to. <laughs> I thought you wanted me to change fruit to meat or something. Ooh, I mean, that'd be fun. That would be great because I hate fruit. I know a student that can do that. Ooh. What's their name? Meat. Meat. 
and there's a kid named Meat, and huh. they turn fruit to meat. Fruit to meat. You know, in, in food, I also knew a band called Fruit to Meat. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. It was a boy band. Yeah. I've heard them. Oh good. Oh nice. They're yeah. very very good. So Elroy, you're famous for writing this book. Well, yes, uh, I've written several books, but this is the one that really caught on. In, in fact, it's it's what I teach here at the school. Uh, I am professor of thinking happy thoughts to slay the demons that surround your mind. That's my class. That's what I'm professor of. Hmm. Yes. So uh, you're teaching your own book. Yes, yes. And then I also teach uh, the children salesmanship. They all buy uh, some books, and then they have uh-huh. to sell those books. Okay. And uh, then they also have to recruit other people to sell those books. So everyone uh, is learning yeah. how to be a merchant. Yeah, it's Which like is. a triangle opportunity. There's me at the top, and then mm-hmm. everybody you know, works their way up. Yes. Which reminds me, I have some books I would like to sell. Yes. For I have been recruited. Oh, yes. And it if all. I could tell you all, you, you could all be slaying associates. That's what I call them. Because you're, you're slaying the demons in your mind and you're, you're getting those sales. You're just getting them. Yes. So if I get my friends to slay their demons, yes. what percentage of their demons come to me? Oh, well, that's a very good question. Um, are you looking to employ those demons in a different way than weighing upon your mind? Or are you wanting those demons to become sales associates with you? I guess I haven't thought it through that yes. much. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing out on a great opportunity. Well, you, you can all join. Let me get my scrolls. Ooh, Hold on. Is, I'll hey, be right back. Exciting. I'm going to run to my turret. One moment. Oh, wow. I, I know someone who joined the uh, Triangle Opportunity. And at the end of the year, they were the top seller, and they got a pink dragon. <gasps> wow. wow. Isn't that cool? Oh, I've yeah. always wanted one. You've always wanted a pink dragon? I have. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, there's another guest joining us. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we need apologies. Oh, it really is cold as cauldrons out there. Cold as a neglected cauldron, I swear. Elroy, nice to see you. Oh, yes, I, ca- I came back. I ran to my turret, and here are the scrolls. Yes, yes. Perform for everyone. <laughs> Arnie, really? who's this? Oh, hey. Um, this is... Um... Look, I'm a woman. I'll do it myself. I'm Mallory McNoboff. Yes, yeah, a pleasure to meet everyone. It really is cold as the stars and moon out there, Winnie. I didn't mean to be insensitive just now. Oh, no. It is colder it's than fine. the dark it's side fine. of the moon just yes. now. What are we all drinking? Uh, mostly wine. Wine. Yeah. It has notes. Would you like to say some wine words? D- pass it to... So what are you getting? A bit of uh, chocolate, a uh, tennis ball? This is interesting because this has actually a lot to do with what I teach up at the school. Oh. Yes, I'm getting notes of mm, loneliness. That note right there? Oh, that mm. is lovely. Thank you. Because we are working on dragon scales this week. Uh, apologies, everyone. <laughs> I teach syncantations up at the school for those who want to do it without a wand. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. Yes. Absolutely. I'd love to have a, a class where we, we join up and uh, I have my students try singing with you teaching them how to sing. I want them to slay the dragon of, of stage fright. Oh, oh, no, that one was tinny. That was a tinny note. Mm. Weak. Sing cantations. I thought you said sin cantations. Sing cantations. Sing cantations. Yes, yes. The ability to use one's voice to speak magic into their life. <sighs> Could you give us a sing cantation? Yeah, I'd love no, to see No, don't make me sing. I literally oh, hate the drama. Sing. I would oh, never. Please. Yes. Yes. But while you, Smiling while you say that, you're drinking tea and preparing to sing. <laughs> yes. oh, right, well, I'll just do the school just, song then. Could you bless oh. us with it, please? Yes, I will do the school song. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Thank no, you. No, I really hate this. I hate the attention. Oh, no. No. All hail, Jizzle Knob, to thee we'll forever true. To the magic humans older than all fools. She's really working the room while she sings the song. <laughs> so much vibrato. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I won't do that again. Beautiful. I won't do it again. Would you you're not going to do it again, but you're preparing to sing another. Oh, hey. 
<laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> what fun we're already yeah. having. Yeah. I, I say, would, would you be so kind as to allow me to sing a solo in one of your concerts? Elroy. Yes. Yes, I... Winnie is my dearest friend. She's sitting right here. There's palpable attraction and tension, and I would never, never move in on you. What? Oh, ah. Or have I been insensitive? I don't believe so. I can sense the tension there, too. I, oh, I it also speaks. feel tension. Yes, it does. Is there a lot of competition for these roles here at Jizzlenob? The role of what? Top instructor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was talking about getting the solo in the school concert, eh? Elroy, yeah, that's for the students. Oh, well, but don't you they showboating, wanna... Nancy. Oh, well. And I'm Chunt. Uh, oh, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm Chunt. Uh, I'm the new... sorry. This is no, Chunt. that's fine. Uh, I would have introduced him, but I forgot his name. Defense oh. Against Art History. That's correct, yes. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. We've heard a thing or two in the I, library I, about I, Defense I Against Art History. I practiced that myself. Yes. Yeah, just uh, I think it's a very handy tool to have, mm. you know. Yes. If you're rubbing shoulders with socialites, be able to get out of any conversation that you don't want to uphold your own end. Yes, of. there is a blissful nihilism that does go along with that, isn't there? Effortless. Mm. Some might mm-hmm. say. Absolutely. And this is Usador. Mm-hmm. Yes, I Seems am like Usador. Seems you know some of them. Oh, yes. Well, I've, I've come to know uh, many of the people who work here. I, I know Mallory, and I know Winnie, and I know Elroy. Uh, I've really made myself a part of the culture here. And now I'm going to pull myself away. What? There are dark matters at foot. What? Again. Here. <gasps> He keeps pulling that coin out of his pocket. It's the pu- silent eye coin. Putting it up to his eye. Nobody knows. What, do we, none of you know what this is? Would you, would you like to buy another copy of my book? Yes, is that I what pro- that coin is for? I probably should. Here, here's some other money. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Oh. And if you're ever on Earth, you can buy one of those. Oh, if the that book? makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could try to get that book into our merch store. I don't know. Everyone is just speaking in incantations right now, and it's not the wine. Oh, These I- notes are just... I don't understand. I'm so sorry. I'm from another world. Uh, no. Some of the things I I say probably sound extra strange but interesting. No, you're right. You're not like other girls. Yeah. We know. Um, does merch store stand for merchant store? Yes. Well, yeah. A store where we have merchandise. But you know what? I'm not here to talk about Earth stuff. I do that in my class, and you could all audit my class for half price because <gasps> you're students of Jizzle Knob. I'm interested in hearing. They're students of Jizzle Knob? Well, as, as, as teachers at Jizzle Knob, you get a discount mm-hmm. on taking okay. classes. I, you know, I'm just interested to learn more about, like, What's the social scene like here? You know, you, you, you've all been teaching here for a while. Like, what does the staff do for fun? The social scene at Chisel Knob, you're looking at it. This is the life of every party. Right, Winnie? <gasps> oh, I, that's very kind of you to say. I'm very excited when I get invited to parties. And if I drink too much, I do talk a lot. <laughs> she also changes. Oh, Changes. Uh, was that Mallory, Mallory, Have you not talked I'm trying about not it yet? to change this evening. Oh, I get it. She's been hinting at it this whole time. She's got a drinking problem. We're getting <laughs> well, better. Oh, this at has become a bit of a broken it. social scene. I, I, I believe you changing into your form is beautiful. Oh, that's so kind of you, Elroy. Yes. So if I'm if I'm gathering this correctly, a skin changer is someone who drinks large quantities of alcohol and then their personality changes. Winnie, I, uh, I would like it to be that simple. <laughs> Winnie, harmonize with this. Ow! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I tried, Mallory. Yes, I'm I suddenly just want joking. cookies. Can we skip to the dessert? <laughs> do you know, when we do get bored at parties, we tend to gather in a circle, touch hands, and uh, make things appear in the middle of the circle. Oh, yes. Huh. And the three of you are oh. touching hands right now, so we must be boring you? No, no, no. Oh, no. no, 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 no. No, no, no. no. I said, yes, I'm bored. Oh, All right. Okay, Valerie. thank you well, for being straightforward. I appreciate it. Well, let's stand in a circle and, uh, and try to make something appear. Yes. Okay. All right. right. Now, maybe we'll take a break and see what has appeared when we get back. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I assume that's the best incantation to go with this. Close our eyes. Hold hands. Mm. Oh, you know it. Why don't you go? You've wanted the solo for so long now. Right. Here we go. Changey, changey. What's going to come? 
here's a thing in the middle. Bum, bum. What? It's more of a patter contation, right? <laughs> There's something in the bum. No, no, I was just Wait, saying. No, something in the middle. A, uh, something in the middle. It's onomatopoeia. Like, oh, bum, bum. Oh, bum, yes. bum. Okay. Yes, to dragon scale interval. Because I heard that as changing, changing, what's to come. Something in the middle. Bum, bum. bum, bum. We, we right, know how well. you heard it. Right, well. Um, that says more about you. I think it was. Fuck a, you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck oh. you, Professor Eustor. What? what? Professor Arnold, how dare it's you speak Professor to me in such a way? Professor Kneekamp. Professor Kneekamp, I'm very sorry. We're just all trying to have fun here well, tonight at the party and make something appear in the middle. We're going to take a quick break while these two measure their cocks, and we'll be right back with more Magic Tavern. Wait, did you say measure their cocks? Because <laughs> that's how I heard it. Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. And we're back. Uh, Winnie, thanks yes. for sitting next to me here. So I can't quite You get smell my... very good. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. You seem to have a very heightened sense of smell. All throughout dinner, I you've don't... been able to tell what's the next course is without seeing it. Yes, you've noticed. Yeah, and I've, I've, I, I want to apologize. I thought you were just... Um, an alcoholic, but it seems like you are some sort of werewolf? Yes, it's in my are name, you? Weatherware. Oh my, I am such a dum-dum. <gasps> Weatherware. No, you're not. So when the moon is ripe, mm -hmm. that's when you change. Yes. And when you change, are you in control? Absolutely not. <laughs> I have no control over it mm -hmm. at all. Um, and it is quite frightening because you sort of lose a sense of yourself mm -hmm. and become wild. Like, wow! Yeah. And then after it's over, you feel as if you have um, taken off all your clothes and rolled around in front of everyone you know. You feel like you've done that or you have? That's that? what you, you feel like when you, feel like, when you, okay, when you wake you up. Okay. I, I hope not. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a sense, that's exactly what happens. So when you change into the were uh, werewolf, your clothes stay on? Do you uh, stay the same no. size? <laughs> no, they, they come off as, mm -hmm. as you know, most wolves are not uh, decked out. Gotcha. In, in well, I just noticed you're, you're, you have these sort of um, purple capris on, and I just thought maybe you, those, you when, like you, when you change, they stayed the same. Um, they stretched uh, with you. They stretched to a point, and then they <laughs> rip. So, Elroy, I, I hear you're a very famous uh, professor. I, I'm trying, been trying to work on making my uh, students enjoy my, my class more. Do you have any advice oh, for me? Yes, I do. Uh, indeed. I, it's all about inspiring the youngsters. Ah, this is what? The tinny wine. Tinny wine. Please continue. Mm. Well, uh, it's all about inspiring the youngsters. Ah. <clears throat> To to not give in to the naysayers. Oh. We all have critics. So just tell them, hey, you critic, be quiet. Oh. I'm making things. I'm doing things. What are you doing? You're criticizing. Don't point your wand at me. I point it away. Well, fine. I want to play a truth or incantation. <gasps> truth or incantation. Ooh. Truth or incantation. Oh. Truth or incantation. Let's start with Winnie. Oh. Pick truth or incantation. Spin the gnome. <laughs> it's always such a hard decision. I'll, I will go with incantation. Right, spin the gnome. Spin the gnome. <laughs> Leave me alone. Poor Dizzy chap. Ha. Ah. Hmm. Inky tinky, bluish sky, do not stop. What's that in your eye? Ah. Oh. Ooh, very nice. Oh. Thank oh, God you yeah. spun that gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. What? There was a blue puff of smoke. Yes, I, I'm not a very good uh, magic maker. Oh no, I think you did just fine. I have a cashew in my eye. Oh, Ooh, getting nuts. It worked. It worked. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, shall I go next? Yes. Yeah. Truth or incantation. Yeah. Truth, truth or incantation. Truth or incantation. I'll tell a truth because Ooh. I'm all about truth. What did Spin you the sing it? What? You sing want, it. You want me to sing it? I want you to sing it. Oh, please. Gnome first. I, you know, don't make me sing. Don't, don't forget to spin the gnome. Spin yeah, fine, the gnome. fine. Fine. All right. Oh, God. <clears throat> right. Um, so it's, I'm telling a truth to someone? Tell a truth to someone with stars in their eyes. Someone who's been mooning recently. Tell a truth. <laughs> you know. Don't point your wand no, at I want, me. No, I want to tell you something. Guys, I feel like there's subtext going on here that I'm not getting. 
I'm not pointing my wand at you in a way that's threatening. I just want you to know that though you criticize me, I think you look on me as a son. You know, I, I believe truly that you believe in me and try to push me in the right direction, and I appreciate that. And you're not a demon after all. I know you don't believe in me, but if you didn't like me, you wouldn't tell me to go after Winnie. You wouldn't tell me to say, hey, Winnie, how about we go down to Vander Village and grab an ale or a mead or Arnie, something? there's definitely subtext, but I can't pick up on it. I can't yeah. type it. Like I know me. Winnie's like your daughter. You wouldn't tell me to ask Winnie out if you thought I was a, a, a screw-up. Mm, this magic moment, yes. Winnie. <gasps> oh, <laughs> What? My dear, don't be afraid. I think you're mm, the most wonderful you know, lady around. There's a long pause in there. I'm sorry, I just, I were get tongue-tied sometimes. Were you sometimes. going to call me a wolf? I am so sorry that I snuck into your room last time I changed. I, I did not mean to, and if your clothes are torn, I will buy you new ones. Let me tell you this. I enjoyed your wolf form. Oh. You were That's too so much. strong. I'm so embarrassed. And I, I don't know if you remember, but... I, no, I, I remember very there was little. A, there was a moment where we danced together in your wolf form. What? Yes. Quite mm. unlike my wolf figure. You didn't hurt me at all. No? No. That's never happened. Arnie, that's called formal dance. Oh. When you're in a different form, uh -huh. you dance. Sure, yeah. Well... Welcome to Chisel Knob. Oh, Truth wow. or incantation. Truth, Truth or incantation. Truth or incantation. Oh, my turn. Uh, okay, I guess I'll do... I don't really know how to do an incantation, so I guess I'll do truth. Spin Just the for the gnome. record. Uh, yes, yeah, spin the gnome. Okay. Please, mercy. And just for the record, your truth doesn't have to be that long. Oh, it doesn't have to be very long? Okay, uh, well, oh, I... I told myself I wasn't going to share this with anybody, but it is on the podcast, so it is content. TikTok, Arnie, TikTok. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, I panicked while teaching my last class, and I, the students weren't interested in anything I say, so I told them all I'm an airline pilot. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I should clarify. It doesn't have to be that long, but it still needs to be interesting. Oh, okay. Since it wasn't interesting, you have to give an incantation. Um, all right. Spin Only the incantation. Only, Only incantation. incantation. Only me. incantation. Okay. Um, hey, we're flying at a high altitude. We're, we're coming into Tampa, and we'll be landing in about 23 minutes. If you look to your left, you'll see the ocean, probably. I don't see it. Arnie, it's altitude, not altitude. Hey, look, I've been an airline pilot for 37 years. I know what I'm talking about. <gasps> so long. Oh, I got some peanuts in my hand. I guess it worked. Ooh. Arnie, you did it. <gasps> did I do? Oh, magic. We're all you doing you nut incantations. Magic. Not, I, I not magic. I will say, when I started telling my students that I'm an airline pilot, they seemed really interested, even though they had no idea what I was talking about. They oh. love you for it. Yeah. It's a honey roasted. I feel kind of Ooh. powerful. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the power that community can bring you. Well done, everyone. Well, yes, I'd say it's a testament to us. Yay, us. Let's go, us. Yeah. <sighs> We should hear truth from someone else. I mean, whatever you'd like. Truth or incantation. Truth or incantation. Truth, truth or incantation. Or incantation. I or incantation. shall do an incantation. Surprise! Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, now. Spin the gnome. Oh, sorry, yes. Oh, that gnome's dead. We'll have to switch him out. Chunt? Yeah? Can, can, I, can I confer with Chunt for a moment? Shh. Side. I'll allow it. Chunt. Yes, sidebar, can. sidebar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to do an incantation mm -hmm. that made Elroy and Winnie confess their love to each other. Okay. Although I think Elroy already did. Yeah. But I wanted to I wanted to support that with my magic somehow. Sure. But now, should I use my incantation mm -hmm. to bring the gnome back to life? Ooh, that's a tough one. Love uh, or life? Love or life? Well, you sir, if I may. Yes. What is life without love? Oh, very true. And that gnome is alone. It was a gnome alone. <laughs> The other day I walked by that gnome's room and he was um, acting like he had a big party. He was pulling all these strings with uh, cardboard cutouts. It was very sad. It so is very sad. I think a life without love is no life at all, so don't worry about him. Worry about the two in love. I have a solution that shall take care of both. Everyone, I am back. 
to do my incantation. It, hooray! Here now, list to me, goddesses. Life and love cannot be cut short. Nay, it cannot be cropped. When two fall in love, let them a gnome adopt. I've magically bound you to this gnome. You have to adopt it now. You have to adopt this dead gnome. Huh? Ooh. Pretty good. I'm so You're excited. Welcome. Yes, yes. What, what a... What a gift. Thank you. As a, per- as a person who's not a professor or a teacher who works at a school, the opportunity to adopt even a dead being is so, so wonderful. I'll care for it in every way that I can. First, by burying it. Yes. yes. We'll have a funeral. Taking care of it as if it's family. What a good mom. That spell seems like it's in a moral gray area at best. Poor Just Mallory. trying to help. Sorry. Ma- Mallory, do don't um, point your wand at I'm, me. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to reach out my hand to you, but I keep forgetting I have the wand in my heart. I don't need your affection. Oh. I've seen the happiness of a relationship come to fruition oh. before my very eyes. I don't need affection for myself. Oh, memory. No. Come to fruition. Ripen. Oh, look at the moon. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry, Dad. That will never get old. Do you have a truth or incantation? Yeah, just gonna say, look at the moon. It's like a half moon, so we're fine. Oh, <laughs> we're yeah. totally fine. I got scared for a moment, yeah, yeah, no, and then no, I no. thought, oh, <laughs> the incurable pranks. Oh, should I make it into a full moon? Um, oh, no, please don't. I do not want to roll naked in front of you. Do not force someone into a form they do not wish to appear as. Oh, well, that's why I asked. Quite respectful, Absolutely. as yes. always. Indeed. You yes. store Look, such respect. What we should be careful to not make people do anything they don't want to do. But Mallory, tell a truth. <laughs> yes, truth and spin that dead gnome. Truth or incantation. Truth or incantation. Truth, truth. I'll say a truth and yes. an incantation at the same time. Ooh. I would literally... Don't make me sing, though. Oh. Spin the gnome. Spin the gnome. Bless us with a song. I hate drama. Don't make you, but your fingers are making the grab motion no, towards no. you. I literally hate... Please hate sing. Please, drama. please, please, please. Your please. t-shirt says, make me history. sing. <laughs> uh, um, I've had the time of my life. No, I've never felt this way before. Yes, I swear. It's the truth. And I owe it all to food. Oh, it's a dirty incantation. Oh. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love that. You're an incurable suck up. I feel like that lifted us all up a little bit. I don't feel very well. Ooh, Winnie, go in the corner. <laughs> oh, no. Ew. Just a little oh. one. Ew. Uh, may, uh, may I fetch you some water? No, get away, please, get away. Oh. I don't want to leave you, you know, this, this happened. State. This happened when the Fresh Grave twins brought booze into the common room. Mm, oh, we know those rapscallions. Yeah. They're the prefects. They're section leaders of Sincanti. Well, nobody's prefect, <laughs> but uh, they're they're cool, I guess. I'm so sorry. I am not drunk. I have not been drinking on purpose so that I do not say anything silly. I believe that your Sincantation. Uh, affected me somehow. I'm feeling quite ill. In fact, very ill when I look at Elroy. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, yes. How could anybody look, uh, feel ill after looking at me? Yes. How could anybody? Who I'm could gorgeous. Possibly, who could have had that intentionality? <laughs> oh, and Elroy's point is wand at everyone. All right. Listen up, everyone. Oh. Put that stubby thing away. Fine. Are you the one that's been tearing up the paintings? <gasps> what now? I love art. We were told it was a ghost. That's what I thought, too. But then you got all uh, pointy with your wand. Well, I'm worried. I'm sad. And I don't know why Winnie feels sick when she looks at me. So usually to fix situations, I point my wand. My dear, you've lived out an entire relationship all in one night. You should be happy. Some people never attain even that. I'm saying sit down and be humble. I will, but yeah, is there look, anything you want to share? It's something, yeah, I feel like I feel there's a weird, like, someone been doing someone dirty. Are all teacher parties such emotional minefields? I look forward to this every time it happens. I do not show emotion until these staff parties. I really hesitate to say this, but you all are quite possibly... My best friends. Oh, oh, no. What? Oh, Put your wand away. I want to give you a gift. Here's the flowers. 
I will tell another truth without spinning a thing. I do believe, Elroy, that Mallory is in love with you. I hate to say it at a party, but it was getting a little boring. So, you, there it is. You are? You're in love with me? Here we go. Subtext becomes text. Yeah. Here we go. My dear. Here it is. My dearest, Elroy. She's writing a letter. <laughs> it has come to my attention that you are a complete fraud. You are fraudulent in all things, except in the emotion akin to love. Why write a letter nice. if you're going to read it out loud? I think it's nice. People don't write letters I literally anymore. hate drama. I would hate to write this out loud. I would hate if anyone called hold of this. Right. So you think I'm a fraud? You think my book and... I think your class is fraudulent. I think you use a triangle scheme to promote your material. What? Mm -hmm. Well, I thought we established that right from the get-go. Oh, yes. But what's wrong with that, huh? Promoting your material. Yes. Molding young minds with only your point of view. Quite possibly nothing. Well, then I'd like to put every teacher on trial in this school. <laughs> oh, good thing I'm not a teacher. I believe that's all they're doing, right? Trying to mold their minds to one way of thinking. Are you saying it's a crime to... Have my students buy my book and then buy it in bulk and then try and recruit people to sell that book with them? It is not a crime. On a sales team? It is not a crime yes. to have your students buy the materials for class. It is a crime that you charge them so much per book. You could cut the sexual tension with a wand, Arnie. Mm. Yeah, it does do it. sound like a crime. So you think I'm a fraud and you think I am wrong. But do you love me? Does anybody love me? Yes, one of us here loves you. Are you happy? Uh, yes, I'd just like to know which one of you. I'll, I'll do it. Really? Yeah. You love me? Yeah. Well, dash it all, that's wonderful. Yeah, I love anyone who's, you know, who's a self-starter, who you know, lifts themselves up by the bootstraps. And, Thank you. And cons other people. That takes guts. I'm so cats out of the bag. Yeah. You all think I'm a con man. Oh, did I say con? I meant, um... I am a con man. Cone. Okay, good. Fine. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, I believe I'm going to have to wipe all your memories. Oh, no. What? No, I'm afraid that? that won't be possible. Uh, for Can the Wizard has made it impossible. Uh, and he would remember anyway because he's lived a thousand <sighs> lifetimes. Dash it all. Yes. I'm afraid you've been outed, and now is the time when you must resign in shame. Well, I'll kneel down to you, Mallory, and to you. Uh, okay, and I'll, as, uh, I'll kneel Winnie, down. Winnie, forgotten her already. No, I have not. Let me take out the sword of Winnie, shame. Winnie, I oh. have not forgotten you. I I'm kneeling have. down before all of you. Goodbye. Goodbye, ladies. Okay. Well, and oh. Just before you go, as you kneel down, you got to take out this sword of shame and knight you uh, shamed. There you go. Thank you. Well, also, before you go, should we read some emails? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, you, Sir. Yeah, we should read some emails. Uh, of course, you can email me at chunt at gmail.com. That's chunt with six Ts. I have one here from Callie Norwich. She says, how long does it take to listen to all of Magic Tavern? Finally caught up. Read this on air, please. And again, I can't stress enough. If you ever write in the email, read this on air. We have to. What? Do the we? magic compels us. So about two months and two days ago, I stumbled across this awesome podcast called Hello from the Magic Tavern. For any new listeners, um, it will take you two months and two days to finish all of it if you have a concussion and take a brief week detour to binge cereal. Thanks for the recommendation, Usador. Just in case anyone was wondering how long it would take to catch up and if it's worth it. Huh, that's wonderful. So she tells us how long it takes to catch up, but she didn't say if it was worth it. I noticed that too. <laughs> Thanks, Callie. Hmm. Arnie, do you have any emails? Well, I just like to say that it's always great to know how long it takes up when you are caught up. You know, like, if you're listening to it now... You're listening to that when you've caught up. Right? right. And if there are more episodes later than this, it would be a different amount of time to get caught up. So basically, this information is useless. Uh, here, I do have an email at Magic Tavern at Puppies Out Supplies. Hi, Arnie, Chunt, Usador, and insert guest name here. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm at the airport at the moment, and I'm like 10 minutes away from flying to Edinburgh to study there. I'm only 18, and I feel like I have the brain of a five-year-old. I'm scared of being all same, alone. Same, same. You are not 18. <laughs> I'm scared of being all alone in a foreign world. And Arnie, you have a lot of experience in that department. It's Professor Neekamp. So do you have any advice for me? And Chunt Usador and insert guest name here. Your advice is appreciated, too. Keep up the good work. Love always. 
Solani More. I mm-hmm. feel like with a, an assemblage of teachers, we'd have some advice for people. And sorry, uh, Arnie, I missed the last name. That's a More? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's Solani More. More. Okay, yeah. thank you. Well, I'm I'm not a teacher anymore, so <laughs> I believe you, you two ladies should should go on ahead. Yes. Ah, uh, uh, here is what to do. You have written an email to someone you do not know very bravely. And in a new world, you go up to someone you do not know very bravely, introduce yourself with honesty and purity of heart, and they will bring you into the fold. I'm certain of it. Absolutely. I I love that. Winnie's right. Start a conversation with someone. And if you start a conversation and work in the words, uh, read this on air, they have to respond to you. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yes, I believe that everyone has the opportunity to be a chanting queen. All you have to do for the first uh, couple moments is convince yourself that you are a chanting queen, young and sweet, only 18. And then all you have to do is feel the beat of other people's hearts. Oh, yes. Get to it. (laughs) And my advice would be if you find yourself in a completely different world than the one you're used to is, is, you know, just it's okay to take it a little slow and try to find one maybe two friends, and, and that's a great start. And then you start a podcast. Aww. And I would say, from my experience of traveling to Earth for a brief period of time, assume you already know how everything works. Confidence. I have one more email here. Uh, this is from uh, Andres. It says, um, hey, did you guys forget that Usador is king of the wizards? P.S. Love the show. What? I didn't forget that I was king of the wizards. <laughs> You're king of the wizards? That's right. Mm. Do you have a crown? Sure. Bing. Oh. Hmm. You shouldn't d- use Bing anymore. <laughs> Why not? It's just outdated. How dare you? I know how to cast spells. Just saying if you use a spell, don't use Bing anymore. Do you notice when you use Bing how slow it is? How s- I often use Bing. Really? Yes. Uh, maybe. I mean, I don't cast magic, but it just seems like Bing is slow-ass magic. There's like 10 seconds between when you say it and when the magic happens. All right, fine. Here I go. I shall cast myself a larger crown. Mozilla! Still pretty slow, my man. Still pretty slow. Fine. Mozilla? Fine. Fine. What about Duck, Duck, Go? (laughs) Netscape. (laughs) Better. Better? Better. All right. Guys, I've had a lot of wine. What's going on with these three? (laughs) Seriously? What's going on with these three? There's clearly like some kind of, there's like some of them are in love with some of them. Oh, it's the start of Arnie's stand up. These two keep telling the, these two keep saying the other one's in love with the other one, but I don't know which one it is. Guys, well, what's going uh, yes, on? I, I am resigning in disgrace, and so I, before this night is over and I have to pack my bags and jump on a wagon, I was wondering if either of you still cared about me, even though I'm unemployed and well, you do know that I love you, but I cannot say so publicly due to Mallory's deep feelings for you. Oh, where were so, you ten minutes ago when I had to take the fall on that dagger? I was sitting, you know, sitting right there, sitting I saw right you. here. There's fear in your eyes. I'm sorry. Anxiety of the moon. Mm. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. someone had to bring it up a few times. <laughs> so, so you're saying that you both love him, but you're trying to figure out which of you. Loves him more. Because I wasn't sure if it was that or if it was one of those things where, like, neither of you loved him and you were just trying to shove the other one towards him. I'll go ahead and say it. I'm sick of sparing people's feelings around Mm, here. mm -hmm. Uh, My friend, Elroy, I do think you're a fraud. And I thought you tried very hard at your job that you worked very little to achieve. So, that being said, I don't want to say it was my intention that you always be unemployed. But this does give me the opportunity Winnie, darling, yes, I've loved you in all your forms. <gasps> all these years, watching you wistfully, watching you take on all the work, watching you take on everyone's feelings, watching you have a near panic attack every time that moon is waxing or waning. Well, I want you to know that I'm always going to be here for you. Always. And it is not a fraudulent feeling that I'm feeling at this time. Arnie, it's so crazy. These three friends in their messy, complex, interpersonal relationships. Isn't it fucking bonkers? I've already said no, Chunt. Are we like this? No. 
Arnie, I just want to take this opportunity to say I've loved you in all your forms. Look, I put on some weight over the years. It's fine. You said that, not me. I know, it's true. Don't email me, people. (laughs) And I, of course, must resign in disgrace from being king of the wizards. (gasps) Why? What? What triangle scheme did you have? Nothing. I'm just trying to make the parallel happen here. Right. Oh. Yeah, I'm a bit of a Winnie, Arnie. You're a bit of a... Mallory. Mallory. And you said it's a one-to-one with Elroy. Oh, I always thought I was a Samantha. Mallory, I choose you. Oh. Oh, yikes, right at the table. That was quick. So if I tried to propose marriage of some kind to you, it would be a no. Elroy, you know what I like to do? What? uh, To inspire happy thoughts. Yes, what? What I like to do to inspire happy thoughts is read self-help books. Hmm. I slay the demons... Of my mind. So you did read it. Just the title. Ooh. Well. Damn, the fruits turn to meat, if you know what I'm saying. If you realize. Is meat around here? <laughs> meat. <laughs> meat. Well, uh, I'm going to close my eyes in Visionotopia or maze and start just taking out my sword and slaying those demons in my mind. Elroy, that's what I appreciate about you. Thank you would do anything for love. I would. And here's 600 gold pieces for the down payment on your next book. Ah, ha, ha, thank you. You believe in me. Yes, of course. And I want to read that book. It'll be about dragons. Wow. Arnie, looks like everyone had a happy ending. So spin that dead gnome, and let's go back to bed. (laughs) What have I said? Well, that should up our chances of passing the Bechdel test at least once in a while. User of the Wizard was played by Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. Miss Weatherware was played by Sarah Mobley. Professor Elroy Topplestar was played by Jesse Grace Mueller. Mallory McNoboff was played by Squeak Rangel. All three of our special guests perform with Improvised Jane Austen. Tuesdays at 8 p.m. at IO's Mission Theater in Chicago. Visit ImprovisedJaneAustin.com for more info. Also, Jesse performs with the Improv Collective Out on a Whim in Improvised Dungeons and Dragons at Otherworld Theater. Squeak performs with the indie team Poster Child. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adol Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Earwolf producer Kimmy Lucas. This episode edited by Chris Rathjen. Special assistance by Riley DiGiorno. Uh, sorry, Ryan DiGiorgi. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard Laban. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. Now, while you enjoy this preview of Spin Tax with guest star Brad Morris, I'll think about why this scrunchie I found in the break room is so familiar. Almost like the kind worn by... What's up, dramatic tension from my unfinished thought? Here's the clip. Does anybody have a dollar bill? Mm, I'm kind of more of a credit card, sort of digital payment. Per- Let me see. Uh, oh, yep, here you go. Oh, great. So, look on the back. Okay. And we see the pyramid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The all-seeing eye. Uh-huh. Focus your eyes on it, Sal. I'm mm-hmm. hungry. Jess is doing... No, look at the, look at the dollar bill, Sal McGundy. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 good. Yes. Oh, All right, so focus good. on it as I encant. Intenardi, insenada, hanseluri, conda, bing! Oh, boy. Whoa. Whoa! You could have said, look at this dollar, because I'm going to transport us somewhere. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin Tax, Shadow Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.